give me a sombrero. Hey y'all, welcome to Drinkity Drink. I'm your host Jason, and this is a co-host Slick. Today we're going to dive into Hornitos Tequila from Jalisco, Mexico. I've tried this tequila before, not this specific one. I've been wanting to find this one, the, the Lime Shot, but nobody has it. I was in a little small store and then I found it and yeah, I finally get to try it. I'm excited because I always use lime with tequila, always use salt with tequila, and now I probably don't have to because this has everything in it. I'm probably still going to add more lime, but it is what it is. Uh, what can you tell us about um, Hornitos? So, I'm actually really excited about trying this because when we first met, he used to always make margaritas out of Hornitos. So this will be really cool to taste. Um, this Hornitos actually uh, was established in 1950. They actually created Reposado before it was even a word. And it was actually uh, in honor of Mexican Independence Day. So, Oh, and this is nice because it's actually uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. Yeah. Did you even know that? That uh, you didn't yeah. even know? It's because there's no Mexican flag job. Oh, yeah. Chicago. So but we, I did tell you. I, I right. We're from Chicago, Chicago, and it's, like, really huge there. We live in Tampa now, and um, there's, there's no a large Mexicans, Spanish yeah. population, but not a large Mexican population. I actually am not the biggest fan of tequila. I love margaritas. doesn't matter what tequila you put in there. I can drink it. That's fine. But typically, I'm not really a shot taker, so I'm hoping that this one will actually taste good as a shot. Um, and just to kind of describe the flavor of what they're telling us, they say it's supposed to be a sweet entry then salty, which, ooh, that's exciting, and slightly acidic. Um, and then you still will have the agave note of silver tequila. So we'll see if that's true. Fingers crossed because I'm super excited about trying this. And usually when I drink straight tequila, I always put it in the freezer and I drink it cold. But you're not getting a lot of flavor. If you freeze something or make something cold, it kind of dulls your taste buds. That's why you don't really taste anything. I don't like a cold shot. It just made it For me, it tastes so syrupy and thick. So I just opened it, and I'm, I was really hoping it'd smell like limey, but it smells like tequila. tequila. <laughs> I'm, I was hoping for like mainly lime and salt with a side of tequila. So we could do that but and squeeze a bunch. It doesn't smell like tequila, Just it really just turns my stomach a lot of times. I don't get that scent. Once we're done with this, we're going to you know, try it out straight, and then we're going to make a, a margarita I've been dying to make, especially with something like this. And then we're gonna try this up against two other tequilas around the same price range, all around 20 bucks. Cheers. That was like, it almost tastes like it has soda in it. It does not taste like tequila. No, it's very sweet. Very sweet, like there's almost sugar in it or something. You do taste the lime. At the end, like you taste a little bit of bitterness, like a lime peel, and I don't taste the salt. I don't taste the tequila. I don't, I don't taste, taste the agave. sour. Well, the agave is probably what you're tasting. That's why it's so sweet. I don't mm -hmm. taste sour. I expected because it said it was like a sweet and sour, so I expected going in to have that sweet and sour taste, and I also expected to have a little bit of the salty taste. I don't have any of that, but I have a lot of sweet, but not in a bad way. Not like a sweet drink. It's just sweetened but it's just it, you can drink it it's it not, is it's so really smooth. sweet to me mm. like a sweet drink it is really sweet very sweet you don't even need it's to taste so it smooth nothing. you taste it it does not taste like tequila if someone were to give this to me i wonder what i would think it was keep in mind this is 35 percent alcohol by volume so it's so it's only um was that 70 proof like I said before, I don't like shots of tequila because I don't really like the taste of tequila, but this does not taste like tequila. I'd be more than happy to take a shot. I'm very interested to see how this will taste in a margarita, if it's going to completely change the taste and it won't be a margarita to me. But I think it's good. It's very, very smooth. It's sweet. I don't really get the salty. I don't get like the, the sweet and sour. I don't get that. Which I wish I had a little bit more of that. That's what I want. Because when I hear lime, I want that sour. But I guess you yeah. do get the bitterness. Ooh, actually, let me try it with the tahini. Do you want to try it with tahini? No. I love tahini. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it's so, easy. So, so sweet and easy to drink. So I'm going to grab this margarita real quick and then we'll do a, see how the margarita tastes and 
go with a score and then battle it out with the other tequilas. So for this margarita, you're going to need half an ounce of cuatro. You're going to use half an ounce of agave syrup. I'm just going to pour it directly in there, eyeball it. You're going to use a whole lime. I've never complained about too much lime. You look different. You're gonna use two ounces of your tequila, which we're using the Hornitos Lime Tequila. And what I did, which um, I did prior to making this, I put a little bit of tahini on the rim. You can put salt, tahini, whatever you wanna use. Tahini's my preference. Add just a pinch of salt. The salt's gonna bring out the lime. Take it up. <laughs> Pour it over ice. So there you go, there's your Hornitos Lime Margarita. Let's see how it tastes. I'm really excited. Mm. This is really good. Mm. Yeah, this is really, really good. As we mentioned, this doesn't taste like tequila to us. So this doesn't really taste like a typical margarita. It's very, very good. I can tell it's a margarita, but it has a fun, different flavor, so it makes it like a fun, different drink. Um, it's not too tart. Even with the extra lime that you added in, it's not too tart. It's not too limey. Um, it's just really good, and it's nice and sweet. Yeah, that tahini gave me like a little bit of peppery. Like, mm -hmm. There's like some type of pepper in it. Yeah, jalapeno. I'm not sure. But this is like uh, lime juice. Like some really good limeade. I guess I taste a little bit of saltiness, but it just tastes like limeade. I mean, you could drink probably a gallon of this and like overdo it right. because it's so easy to drink. I mean, it's like just a really good limeade. If it was really hot out and you had like a bunch of this, I mean, you could just keep drinking and drinking mm -hmm. and drinking until you drank too much. So it is really good. I don't really get the agave in it, even though I did put agave syrup. This doesn't stand out that much. I guess the tequila. Like, you can't tell tequila's in there. I would honestly think they didn't give me tequila in that drink. After trying the margarita, which was good, and trying it straight, uh, I'm going to give it a grade of 8.7. I'll give this an 8.7. For me, I would give it a 9 because it's very quickly becoming my new favorite uh, beverage, my new favorite tequila and drink just overall, I think, or um, liquor overall. It's very, very tasty to me. So now we're going to compare these three tequilas, which are all about the same price. I think this one is 17 I'm not 100%, maybe 18 but they're all like within 17 to $22. This is by the same company. This is made, except it's just plain Blanco. This one's the Jose Cuervo Tradicional, and this so, one is the Salsa Blue Agave Hacienda. We'll try this one first, since we already been trying this one. So we'll try the Jose Cuervo Tradicional. Ooh. So this one smells like tequila. It's the opposite of the Hornitos, where obviously, we already know it's the lime shot. The Hornitos, when you smell it, you don't really get that tequila scent. Ooh. This one's actually pretty smooth. It does taste like tequila. It has that tequila taste as it should. Um, but it's not bad. And like I said, I'm not really the biggest fan of tequila. It isn't high, like, alcohol -y, ethanol -y. It's just agave, sweet smelling. That's all I smell, like sweetness mm -hmm. and agave. And the taste is super smooth and sweet. The finish kind of hangs in there like I'm still tasting it. Okay, now we're going to try the salsa. I feel like the scent on this one isn't as bad. Still smell tequila, but it just doesn't feel as strong. Ooh. There it is. This is strong, it tastes strong. Nowhere near as smooth as this one at all. I feel like this one went down um, pretty easy. And yeah, you get more fire, more burn. You do get agave on it. It isn't like that harsh, but there's a little bit more burn than this one. Yeah, definitely more burn for me. For and a little bit bitter finish, just a small bit at the end. So this is definitely my favorite over this one. I'm gonna come back to this one because We've been away from it so long.
It's just a totally different flavor, just sweetness and I guess that little bit of liming. It's not really like the lime juice, it's lime peels. Like if you soak lime peels yeah, in so tequila, you get the bitter that's how taste. it is. Yeah, you get the bitter taste of lime on this. You just kind of taste like almost a lime spray in it. Or, this is or just, it's smooth. just so easy. It's mm -hmm. so easy to drink. Uh, this is my favorite between these three. This was, I believe, the most expensive where it's around the same price as this, depending on where you shop. I would pick this one all day over this one, but I'm still not opposed to this one. I'll still take this one. Out of these three, which one was your favorite? The Hornitos Lime. That's okay. my favorite. And yeah, it's just because so. I love the flavor. Um, mm -hmm. doesn't taste like tequila. It's delicious. Makes me a really fun margarita. But then I would go to this one. If I just want that classic margarita flavor, I'd go with that. Oh, if you guys can suggest any other fun like tequilas, I would love to know. Um, one that I've been wanting to try is the 21 Seeds, the Cucumber Jalapeno, right? Yeah, that's I really want to try that. If you have, really good. Yeah, if you have any suggestions of something along those lines, that'd be cool. Um, I'm always looking to try these fun things like that. So yeah, like usual, next time you have a drink, drink with somebody you love.